Let's suppose that you were instructed to describe the geologic history of this piece of, uh, of th this area of strata here in this cross-sectional diagram. Well, if you were to do with the most simple strategy, you would say that by the law of superposition, A was deposited, then B was deposited, and then C was deposited. And then by the law of cross-cutting relations, uh, this igneous layer X would have been intruded after the deposition of these three layers. Well, you'd be correct in saying all of those things, but there's also one final piece that you should mention um, when you've got an igneous, in this case this is most likely a batholith, uh, surrounding or rather intruding upon these three sedimentary layers. And that would be that what actually would form would be a layer right here, a new layer of rock, and we would call this, and this is a general term, This is called an aureole. And what this describes is simply an area of rock that has been metamorphized via contact or sometimes called thermal metamorphism. And it is otherwise it is basically transformed um, igneous, excuse me, sedimentary rock due to the heat of an intruding uh, igneous body. So contact or thermal metamorphism is simply when you have an intrusive body that can be a batholith or in some cases uh, a dike or a sill, although those um, are much smaller and thus supply much less heat. Um, it's when you'll have something like that that intrudes upon uh, sedimentary strata and will then create a small layer. Sometimes it can be thicker depending on the size. If it's a very large batholith, for example, it can have up to a few kilometers of this region that we call the aureole. It'll form this region of metamorphic rock um, that is its own complete, its own unit um, in the geologic history and in the diagram itself of the region. One final note about contact metamorphism. Because it occurs with basically only pressure, the only, or excuse me, only temperature, in that the only pressure that will occur at these levels is smaller amounts of confining pressures, you'll generally see that these metamorphic rocks are low grade and typically aren't striated, right? Um, there won't be enough pressure to have forced the layers of, uh, for example, hornblende to align nice and neatly. A rock that is frequently formed um, when mudstones are baked in these, in these regions is hornfells. Bit of a fun fact there. That's contact metamorphism in a nutshell. Hopefully this was informative, otherwise good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.